Hey guys, um, just want to make a quick tutorial on uh, FontForge for you. So um, I haven't really put much thought into this, but uh, I'm just going to show you basics on how to's. Uh, obviously, my knowledge on it is quite limited right now, so um, I'm just going to try my best and show you guys what I've figured out myself. So here's FontForge. So if you just click on that, it should come up. I've already got it open right here. So when you open it, it looks like this. So I have an untitled document. I haven't really messed around with it that much. Um, so let's say you want to create a letter. So you click on whatever one you want. As you can see, there are various over here. So here are the capitals. Uh, and the lower cases and then there's numbers uh, punctuations and everything so pretty much it's a very good um, program to make your own typeface really so whenever you double click on the letter this is what comes up so you have the box right here where you can um, basically draw it out uh, you can't you, you can export things onto it, uh, but it's very difficult and it it means you have to uh, if you if you want to export something from Illustrator or something else, you will have to export the uh, letters separately. so uh, it will work out uh, longer for you. So um, your best bet is to start the whole project on here. so uh, maybe draw something out as reference and then, come to this program to actually do the dirty work. So um, if you click on this uh, little icon here, uh, it's two straight lines and one going horizontally, one going downwards, and it has like a little square in the middle uh, that allows you to make straight lines. So you can just like click on it. So here I'm making the letter R. So uh, it, there are some similarities to Illustrator on this, so it 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 will be kind of easy if you if you're familiar with um any of the Adobe programs. Uh, the great thing about FontForge is that it's free, so you can just download it. It is quite tricky to download it, but um uh, once you do it, it's pretty much there forever. Uh, you won't have to pay a penny for it. Um, so I'm just drawing it out right now so you guys can see a basic of what it looks like. Um, so I haven't got much practice on this but I know that uh, once you've drawn out the basic you can uh, edit it by clicking on the actual uh, mouse icon. So if you can see the little mouse handle here uh, you can click on these little orange squares and change positions um, and make it suit your typeface so in whichever way you want I haven't really done anything with this yet um, I was just taught by um, Dave Crossland so I haven't really like messed around with it as much because I've been busy so far but I mean if you want to get a typeface out there this program is the bomb for it you won't need to uh, download any other programs. You can just pretty much finish off the type, the whole typeface, and uh, you can put it straight onto your fonts. So once it's finished, you won't have to make it go through any other process than saving it, and it will be as a font file. So you can just straight export it to whatever program you want to use it on. So um. Yeah, so once once you've kind of got the sh basic shape, you can hit the key next to Shift and Z. Uh, so I'm not too sure what it's called actually, but uh, basically once you hit it, it's just below A uh, to the left of Z and above Control and to the right of Shift. So once you hit that key, you can basically see your letter in black. And once you finish with it, you can just close it here and uh, here it is. 
um, and then you can just go on to the other letter so uh, if you want to do kind of curved lines you can just um, click let's just do an S right now so you guys can see what it looks like I apologize for the kind of the fact that I'm unprepared for this but you know I thought I'd just make something for you guys to take a look at it so you guys can just get an idea of how easy the program actually is to use um, it's actually you know I mean considering this is the first time I'm using it you know it's not bad like is very familiar to actually the pen tool on Illustrator uh, or for Photoshop if you guys are familiar with it you know like I really recommend it I mean I have a couple of friends who actually use Font Lab and um, you know that that program sounds really good um, but you have to pay for it the great thing about Font Forge is you can always give feedback on it so if there's something that you're actually like finding difficult to use or you know if there's a bug or if something that you like to you know uh, this is not going that well for me you can actually you know talk to the uh, developers about it you know send them an email and um, you can actually give them some input on on personalizing your actual whole experience on this program so you know there it is very beneficial if you actually um, are looking to you know start using it so I, I strongly recommend it. it it is really easy to use I mean that's an S that I've done you know, about six seconds <laughs> no maybe more I'm exaggerating there but um you can also zoom in and zoom out by holding command minus and command plus uh, it's just it's really familiar to Illustrator um, I haven't really figured out all of the tools yet I mean I've mainly been drawing out the letters so um, I, I can't really tell you what everything does but um, I strongly recommend you guys you know like check it out um, you guys can download it from f uh, f just if you just google Font Forge uh, pretty much it some instructions should come up on how how to download it uh, there's a couple of ways of doing it it just depends um, however you feel most comfortable um, but yeah so that's a uh, quick um, tutorial um, so not much on it but I just wanted to show you guys what it's all about so you can just get the feel of it um, there's a whole s loads of uh, tools you can use and like loads of things that you can do so like spacing um, you can basically test the type next to each other to make sure they suit the same space they're on the same size uh, so it is a very useful tool uh, you, can, you have the rulers um, you can just add them on anytime so um, you know for lowercase and uppercase so it is a really good program uh, pretty much this is what we've done during our um, workshop when Dave Crossan uh, came into uni uh, pretty much just drew on tie faces out from from the reference that we had on paper um, and yeah like if you if you guys check out on the internet you can find loads of tutorials on how to's on it uh, it's actually a really useful program you know if you if you're looking to get into typography I really recommend it so um, I hope you guys like it and um, thanks for watching